In this video, we'll take a brief look at the new Profit and Loss Template version 306 from Accounting Insights for Power BI. If you like this template, you can go to our website and purchase and download the PBIX file along with the dataset that you see here. Please subscribe to the channel because in coming weeks we'll be going into some of the aspects that we see in this template in more detail. The template breaks down across four pages. We've got the main summary page we're looking at at the moment. We've got a monthly page. We've got a year-to-date plus page that includes the actuals plus the remaining budget and forecast for the rest of the year. And we've got a contribution by partner showing the contribution by customers and suppliers. The main page is driven by slices on the right-hand side. Uh, top we're selecting the fiscal year and the months. And then we're selecting the analysis period. So months, quarter to date, year to date, rolling 12 months and so on. And as we select the, the slices, there's a small table at the top that shows the date range that's been selected and that's also confirmed in the title. We can choose what comparison we're making against our actual, whether we're comparing against previous year as we have in this case, or whether we select budget or forecast or some other scenario. And we can choose to display our calculations as absolute numbers like we have here, or to show as a percentage of sales, which can be useful for certain kinds of analysis. If we hover over any of the numbers within the P&L matrix, we can see the breakdown by GL code, um, which gives a little bit more detail. And if we want to see more detail still, we can right click on that number and drill through and see every single posting that made up that amount. If we go over to the monthly profit and loss page, it's effectively the same matrix, but broken down with a, a monthly column. And here we're seeing the variance against budget and the highlighting is based on the, on, on the variance against the budget. Similarly, we can select variance against previous year and the highlighting will change. Again, like before, we can hover over a given amount and we can see the breakdown and we can also, in this case, see uh, the actual and the previous year because we've selected the previous year as a comparison and the variance by total and also by the GL code. Uh, and again, we can right click on that and drill through to see all the individual postings that made up the amount that we're looking at. The year-to-date plus page takes this but extends the year uh, to the rest of the fiscal year based on whatever comparison method we've used here. So if I select budget, what it's doing is we've got the actual for April and May and it's filling in the rest of the year based on the budget. Now I've selected a cumulative aggregation here. So it's adding up all the values as, as we go across the year. I could equally choose to select a periodic aggregation where we see each month individually on its own, but we still see the total at the end, giving an indication of the total outturn for the year. And finally, we've got the contribution by partner, where we're looking at the impact on the P&L by uh, suppliers and customers. And it's just a simple way to see at a, at a high level where we're spending most of our money and where we're getting most of our revenue from. And if I select, for example, uh, partner type of customer, we can see our top customers by contribution uh, year to date, and we can see the variance uh, against last year. So I can, I can hover over Common Chemist, and we can see that we've done nearly £17,000 this year compared with nothing last year. So we're, we're kind of up variance 100%. And equally, we can see customers in, in the list below where we're not as doing as, as not doing as well as we did in the previous year. So that's a brief summary of the profit and loss template. As I say, available for purchase on our website. You get the PBIX file, which is well documented, well laid out PBIX file, along with the data set that you see here. Please also subscribe to this channel um, as we will be posting additional videos in the future, going into some of the details that we haven't gone into in this video.